what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? First, the disclaimer. Forecasts can be wrong as witnessed by Donald Trump's startling 2016 presidential win. No prediction is bulletproof. Now for the shocker. It appears that Joe Biden, the Democratic nominee for president, has a chance not only to win in 2020, but to wallop Donald Trump and drag him by his orange head. They are predicting that Donald Trump will lose by a landslide. Who is they? Oxford Economics. They now see Biden beating Trump by historic margins due to an economy deeply damaged by the coronavirus recession. Before the recession, the models showed Trump winning in a close race. Widespread business shutdowns meant to stop the spread of the coronavirus has caused the loss of 37 million jobs since the end of March, the biggest drop in employment since the Great Depression in the 1930s. Some of those layoffs are temporary, but the unemployment rate now is 14.7. It is expected to drop to around 10% on election day, but still, that's three times more than it was before the virus lockdown. What does that mean? That means that the orange man no longer has to fake like he's actually doing work for the American people out of the Oval Office, and he can just sit on the toilet all day and eat McDonald's, Big Macs, pizza, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Cheetos, Snicker Bars, and Diet Coca Cola. No longer do we have to feel any type of shame associated with being a loser, an incompetent leader. Oh man, it's hard to call him a leader. I'll just say an incompetent. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. That's going to sting his base. But here's what I predict. I predict that even if Trump lose, he is going to make more money than he's ever made before because the people who follow him are just as rotten as he is. And they're just as delusional and evil as he is. And he's the guy who says what they want to say oftentimes, but can't. Or they say it, but their voice isn't loud enough. So they sit back and they wait on their opportunities for him to go off. They love it. They eat it up every time he puts a gaffe out there. Every single time he drops the ball. Every time he mispronounces something. They love it. Because that's who they are. They make the same type of mistakes. They act the same way. That's why his following is so strong. I think he's going to make a lot more money after he leaves the office. And I also predict that he'll probably have more power because now he don't even have to worry about it. And, you know, who is, who's going to lock up a former president? America don't do that. They don't lock up their presidents. They, oh, they lock up other people's presidents. They'll go to another country and lock somebody up, snatch their president off his throne and lock him up, lock her up, but they're not going to lock up their own. Isn't that interesting how they can just go to somebody else's country 
and basically kidnap them or, or just down them and nobody in the international community does anything about it? Absolutely amazing. Now, here's the thing. I would love to see Trump lose just to see him lose. But don't get too excited. I do believe that Joe Biden ain't going to be much different. Now, that's a hard pill to swallow. Get your water ready. You're going to need at least a gallon. No more talk. What the haters talking about?